Hi, my name is Noah Eisenberg and I'm a film scholar at the New School. I'm speaking to you today from the Quad Cinema in Greenwich Village for Cohen Media Channel. And the film that I'm introducing is one of Douglas Sirk's favorite films, a film called A Scandal in Paris from 1946. It's a film he did with European-born producer Arnold Pressburger and it stars once more George Sanders, George Sanders who also played in Sirk's Lured one year prior. In this film, George Sanders is another kind of charming scoundrel, a, uh, a thief based on a historical character during the Napoleonic era who ultimately became the police chief, a, a uh, reformed uh, thief, so to speak. The uh, music in this, in this film, the composer for this film, is Hans Eisler. The score that Hans Eisler provides for this, for this film is far less politically minded than the work that he would do, say, for Hengmen Also Die, for the Fritz Lang collaboration with Bertolt Brecht. In this film, Eisler's score is, is, is more florid, it's more romantic, uh, and doesn't have that political thrust that much of his uh, work as a composer, both in Hollywood as well as in Weimar Germany, frequently had. The film also features a, a young actress named Carol Landis, uh, who plays a dancer here, Loretta. This was uh, one of her major screen roles, and it's just a few years later in a very, very tragic story that, that Carol Landis would, would, would commit suicide. In this picture, she plays a dancer, and there's a wonderful scene when George Sanders visits her behind stage, and almost was reminiscent uh, of the scene in which Emil Jannings goes to see Marlene Dietrich in The Blue Angel. Uh, this is the scene uh, in, in A Scandal in Paris when Sanders ends up sort of playing with, with, with her garter uh, and being snagged almost again the way that Jannings is snagged in the fishnet stockings or at least the fishnet uh, of the nightclub Blue Angel. At the time that Douglas Sirk made A Scandal in Paris, there were a number of uh, European-born directors, including Max Ophuls, who were making costume dramas. In the case of Cirque, however, I really think that you can see in a film like A Scandal in Paris, especially in the way that he handles the melodramatic uh, storyline uh, uh, of this film, the way that he handles some of the blustery dialogue, the way that he handles atmosphere, you can see a line that we can trace from a film like A Scandal in Paris to some of the Technicolor weepies that he would direct a decade later. Character actor Gene Lockhart, who would play a number of double crossers, cheats, and devious uh, characters, uh, he plays Chaka, for instance, in Lang's Hang Hangman Also Die, plays a, 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 uh, a member of the, of the police force here who will fall from grace as a member of that noble police force to working the streets, selling his birds, birds that are strapped in their cages to his back. Uh, Jean Lockhart gives a terrific performance in A Scandal in Paris. Um, I hope you enjoy the show.